Okay, let's talk about De Morgan's Laws. A contemporary of Boole's, Augustus De Morgan, formalized two rules of logic that had previously been known informally. They allow us to rewrite the negation of a conjunction as a disjunction and vice versa. For example, suppose you want to schedule a meeting for two colleagues at 4.30 on Friday and you need both of them to be available at that time. Uh, what situation would make it impossible to have the meeting? It is not the case that colleague A is available and colleague B is available. Okay, so that would be the negation of the and. So this situation is equivalent to either colleague A not being able or colleague B not being able to attend. Okay, so that would be not A or not B. Okay, so De Morgan's Laws is basically a distributive property for conjunctions and uh, um, disjunctions. Okay, so all you have to do is remember when you're, you're applying to Morgan's laws is that you're distributing the negation and flipping the sign. Negating, you're distributing the negation sign and it's flipping the sign, the, 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 um, the connector, right? The conjunction or the disjunction, the connecting uh, symbol, right? So in this case here, to illustrate when we are distributing the negation across an and, you distribute the negation to the P and the Q and you flip it to an or. If you're negating a disjunction where you have an or statement, you're negating both the P and the Q and you're flipping the or to an and. Okay, so that's what you have to do. Just remember is you distribute the negation and flip the sign. That's what I always say. Okay, so here's an example, example 28. We have, says for Valentine's Day, you did not get your sweetie flowers or candy. Which of the following statements is logically equivalent? So you did not, right? It says you did not get your sweetie flowers or candy. Okay, so that would be not P or Q, right? So that would be not P and not Q. So which one of those? So that means you did not get your sweetie flowers and you, and you did not get your sweetie candy. So which one of those <clears throat> matches? And that would be B. You did not get them flowers and you did not get them candy. Okay, so it's that easy. Okay, now let's do this, the try number eight. It says, to serve the President of the United States, a person must have been born in the United States, must be at least 35 years old, and must have lived in the, U <clears throat> in the United States for at least 14 years. What minimum set of conditions would qualify someone from, who would disqualify someone from serving as president? So we're gonna negate that. So it's, it's basically a PQR, right? So we're negating P and Q and R. So again, using De Morgan's Law, we're going to say this is equivalent to not P or not Q or not R. So that makes sense, right? That, I mean, if it's, an, if it's a connected by and statements, right? Remember, to show that it's false, 
we would need just one of those components to be false, right? So either the person's was not born in the United States or the person's under 35 years of age or the person has not lived in the United States for at least 14 years. Okay. Uh, and so that would be the case. Okay. And so that's where we'll stop with De Morgan's laws. And then we'll come back and we'll start analyzing arguments in the next video.